There's been a major recall of a specific type of hip implant. Thousands of lawsuits have been filed due to some of the issues these implants have caused. Jim Higgins of the Higgins firm recently sat down with Casey Haggerty to explain the recall and lawsuits and give some advice on what you can do if you're affected. Take a look. And we've got Jim back in the studio with us today. Jim, great to see you. Thank you. All right, so a lot of lawsuits have been filed against Stryker for some certain hip implants. So mm -hmm. let's talk about why those were recalled. What happened? Well, yeah, there's about 3,000 lawsuits pending uh, right now. And uh, we've had clients that have been affected by it. But what this, uh, the Stryker hip, it's, it's a specific one. So a, reju a rejuvenate hip or ABG um, too. But the hip where the neck of it is there's apparently some problems with the metal on metal and they were having some filings or fragments that are getting out in people's blood it's causing some problems and getting some metal toxicity is what they call it mm. and, and can be in your blood and that can really cause some problems and so they're having to remove and replace some of these or several uh, thousands of these hips so what are the symptoms of a failing hip implant then are there are there mm -hmm. things that they can see or tell like okay i've got a problem well, you know, anytime you have a major surgery like that uh, and you have a hip implant, you're going to have pain. So I think if somebody's had a striker hip and not all of them recalled, first of all, don't freak out, right? Because, yeah. but it is something that if, what symptoms we have been seeing are uh, popping, creaking, pain, swelling, uh, you know, that's something that says, hey, this just isn't right. And if you're having those types of symptoms, it's something that you ought to call your surgeon about and talk to them and make sure that the hip that you have has not been one of these recalls and that everything is, is going fine. And what the doctors are usually do if it's a recalled hip, most people should have gotten a letter, but if they haven't, they're gonna do a blood test and they're gonna see if you have this metal toxicity in your blood. And right. if you do, then you can talk about the options of what you've got to, to repair this problem. Okay. Now, what damages are being claimed in this lawsuit against Stryker? Sure. Well, you know, th there's some pretty high damages in a case like this, and the reason is it's hard. You know, if you need to have a hip transplant, nobody ever does that until you absolutely have to have it. And so we're talking about people who probably have put this off for a long time, had this surgery, and now all of a sudden they're getting this devastating news that they've got to do it again. Right, last thing they need to hear. Oh yeah, so we're gonna have, you know, generally we're sticking our, of course, medical bills recovered, physical therapy bills covered, the pain and suffering of going through this, which is a real hard thing to quantify in these cases, but it, it's significant. So we try to get these people back as close as we can to where they were, and the, the litigation's going forward to, to try to do that. All right, well, we're helping out a lot of people. Jim, thanks so much. Thank you. The Higgins Firm is serving Tennessee. You can give them a call at 615-924-8500 or go to HigginsFirm.com.